Can I just say something, though, on, in all honesty? Like, the biggest news is with the Cardinals, they're winning. They're fun to watch right now. But now there's going to be people actually able to go there, dude. Are you kidding? Two, what, what do they have? 28,000. 28,000 people? Double. Now, that actually makes a difference. That makes a difference when you're at the plate, when you're batting, when, you, when you're doing whatever. Like, you could feel that crowd there. And, of course, the Blues only get 900 more, which is like, oh, cool, thank you. But that is a g- great start. Cubs Series 2. Get pumped up for that, man, because that's a, that's a big deal. That that's, puts a smile on my face. Way to go, uh, DeWitts. I don't know I don't know who did that. I don't know how you did it, but good for you. Well, they were working with, with health officials, yeah. with the city, to get that all taken care of. And we've said this a million times. We're no doctors. Obviously, there's different rules for indoor venues versus outdoor venues. Do we venues. know what those are, though? Can we, can, do we have an explanation on why? And I'm not saying there's not. I just haven't really heard one yet. I don't yet. know the explanation. I heard it was because if you sneeze, it'll go all the way up to the ceiling and hit the ceiling and then spread down like rain. I'm just joking. I made that up. But I'm <laughs> trying to think why. What's the difference? You, it's like 90 feet up. Like, I, I don't get it. I just think it's it's the air and the fact that COVID really lives and thrives indoors. Yeah, okay. So I don't know, I don't know the exact it, yeah. explanation, it. but clearly. It's got to be something. Because, look. Both these buildings we're talking about are in the city of St. Louis. They're about, what, four blocks apart. So clearly, if you're allowing now Bush Stadium at, what is it, 28? 28. The capacity is 46, whatever it is. So you're getting close to, you're, you're over half capacity. Yeah, man. You've almost doubled your previous number. So the fact that the Cardinals are at above 50% capacity allowed, the Blues are right there at 25%, that right there shows you there's clearly different guidelines Indoors versus outdoors, because otherwise they would let There's the Blues. There's got to be something. They'll let the Blues have but the same percentage. But what about 10,000? Because, I mean, Vegas and if, I, I, okay, you're right. And I'm not saying I, I know, but somebody chimes in and goes, Triple H's uh, Club Pro chimes in and goes, the sunlight kills 99.9% of the Rona. That's what I believe. I believe, I've heard that. So I, be, I would say that was pretty accurate. Can we just cut a hole in, in, in the, the, the day games or something when you know it's sunny <laughs> and then have it kill? Uh, you know, I'm just joking, but it, it's just... They, they need to make some money. Yeah, hey, I'm just, yeah, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it is what it, Twenty-eight thousand. That's almost Battle Hawks numbers. Splashback times. And I also think twenty-eight thousand. And and do you think do you think they're going to get that number? I I wonder. I am curious about this. About people, even if you're allowed to go back, how many will? Oh, no, I no, a ton. Okay, and 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 that that may be the case where they are boom. They get that number right out of the gate for us, especially a, a Cubs series. But yeah, I do think. First, and I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do because I would go to a game right now. I would absolutely go to a game. Now, my wife's eight months pregnant. She's probably going to chill for a while. Totally. I think people understand that. Yep. Yep. I would go to a game right now. I would feel comfortable with that. I understand if some people wouldn't. I just wonder. I just wonder if they're going to get that boom right out of the gate. I hope I hope they well, do. Is there any, was, do. Are people still scared to go to games? Like, text in. I mean, are you are you still like, I haven't got my shot. Not to, or I did get my shot, but other people haven't, or whatever whatever it is. Like, are there that many people out there that are that worried to go mingle with a big crowd for the first time in God knows how long, a year, two years, whatever it is? Or is there that many people? I'd like to hear. And you know, when we started this, and you had the six foot, the six foot number, the six foot radius, which you have to throw out a number, right? I'm sure there's some science behind that, but is that? I think sometimes we thought, oh. It, at six feet one inch, we're good. But at five feet ten inches, oh, hell we're gonna no. get COVID. Like I think most people understand that they threw that number out there. That's the guideline. So so you had those pods at Bush Stadium, and they had to be spread out six feet. Well, now it's three feet. And again, I'm comfortable with that. Right? If you're spaced out by a seat or whatever, I'm comfortable with that. Now, to be honest, and this is a good question, are you comfortable? A dude breathing on you, next seat over. That's a different. That's a. And you know what? Maybe people are, and it's all good. And I'm not even trying to chastise, but I, I think they're doing it in a way where it was six feet. Okay, so you got thirteen thousand in there. Okay, now it's three feet. You're gonna have twenty eight thousand, and you're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully everything goes really well. Hopefully they get twenty eight for all these games, and there are no issues. Well, how about this? And then this? potentially the next month or so, boom, keep keep raising it. Even though the guy next to you doesn't have a mask on, put yours on if you're there worried you about go. it. Put a mask on. Put three of them on. Or do what the yeah, couple of those crazy guys do. Beekeeper suit. And the beekeeper suit. The, the oh, head beekeeper geez. suit. Weirdo. I remember that you see that guy. <laughs> you know what? Like, okay, put a mask on. So a couple other texts. Uh, Eric in Central West End. 
I still have no desire to go to go to a game with mass requirements. Once that song and dance ends, I'll go to a game. I hear you on that, especially a ball game when you're outside. Now, I heard that you are allowed to take your mask off when you sit down, and that's that's fair, okay? I, I get that. And, again, if you want to wear wear the damn thing the whole time, if you want to sunburn your face, Charlie and I do modeling sessions. We, we can't do that. We cannot do that. But I won't go to a game, even a Blues game, and have to wear a mask everywhere either. I'm just like, I, I want to talk to people. I get you. You, you know, know what's what's crazy about about all of this with COVID? And it, it, it so shows you, too, how this oftentimes falls right along, unfortunately, party lines. But the mask thing is probably – is probably a deal breaker for a lot of people on both sides of it, right? Like you, you talked about, there's probably a a nice percentage of people, I don't know the number, that are like, I don't want to go to a sporting event as long as I have to wear a mask. And there's probably a nice chunk of people on the other side that go, I don't want to go to a sporting event if the people next to me don't have to wear a mask, right? And yeah. they're not masked up. So it's just, but it's part, of, it's part of COVID. Yeah, t- t- text, text in, in, because I haven't got one of those yet. So just let me but know. But you know there's people like that out there. Totally. I know, and they're, and they're the loud ones. They're the loud ones. Uh, you know, they, they really are. But so I just want to know if you're really worried about that, you're still worried about all that kind of stuff, just I just text in and explain why. Because I, 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 I get it, but I just, at this point, we're just like, okay, you know, I'm just like, let's, let's be normal. And the thing where I'm, I'm all about opening up, I am. I just want everybody to know that. Because you don't have to go. Now, I understand if you're disappointed you go. because you want to go and you don't feel like a venue – is is safe enough for you. Okay, and look, I'm not saying I agree with those people, but I understand that line of thinking, yep. right? But but this is America, and you have the freedom of choice. So if you're allowed to go, you can go with the, with the new regulations with 28,000 at Bush, but you can also choose not to go. Yeah, so, watch it on TV. So, and that, that's really what America is all about is you have, you have the choice. Well, if you're worried about that much anyway, then you're probably not going to enjoy your time there because you're going to look at other people, and a lot of people break the rules anyway with different things. You're, all you're going to be is annoyed the whole damn time, so just stay home until things are no more normal for you, safer for you. But I just think people now are like, I did my thing. I already had it. I just got the shot. I want to go see people without a damn mask. I want to be able to hear what they say. I just want to enjoy my life. And I don't know, man, 28,000 people there all hanging out. I love to see that. Puts a smile on my face, Charlie Model. No, me too. And that's where, again, I'm not going to get into the specifics about indoors versus outdoors and all the different regulations state by state and CDC guidelines. But but let's just look at outdoors. Look at outdoors. When was the first football game or college football game where fans were allowed? We're talking about, what, 10 months ago? So for outdoor venues, we have nine or ten months' worth of data to see how it's going. And as we spoke about yesterday, I haven't heard anything really bad from, from any of these football stadiums. I'm sure I'm sure there were little mini outbreaks Charlie, here you would have heard it so much. That's what I'm you saying. You know exactly. That's what I'm saying. They would have amplified everything. Go back to, we had fans at Mizzou football games. You had fans at Kansas City Chiefs games, at Arrowhead. Remember, there were baseball fans in Texas. Yeah. At the end of the playoffs there, and this is nine or ten months ago, we started having fans outdoors. So I'm glad that they're that they're increasing capacity at all these places in a safe way. And I and I hope they all get to 100 percent very very fast. I just want to go downtown and see Maggie O'Brien's packed. People want to wear masks. They do if they have to. Whatever the case, I just want to see these businesses making money, being happy, being normal. And this is a big, big step to that. I wish the Blues would at least have 10,000. Who knows what's going to happen? They might only be playing two games at home. We'll see. I don't want to be a downer on that. Whoa. But I'm just you saying. You made a two-month run. Also, two I'm, just, run. I'm just saying it'd be nice to get 10, 10 12,000 people in there, maybe every other seat, and just spend money and have fun. If you look, though, let's just be real about what's probably going to happen with the Blues. It started at what, 300 people? Remember that first game I was at? I think it was it was three hundred. Sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, nurse, like no, no, it was nurses it was, and right. doctors. Yeah. yeah. It was that healthcare was, officials. Yeah. My uh, wife's brother. So they go up to what about thirteen hundred? They keep yep. bumping it. It was forty one hundred, and now it's five thousand. So if you bump up nine hundred, I think that shows you that we're probably we're not, not going to get yet. close to that this season. We're not but, ready. but let's sure as hell hope numbers continue to plummet all throughout the summer. I just want to know why though, Charlie. Say because like if they if they did. Fifteen to four, 
why are we not making that leap from four to like nine? So why is it just nine? It's kind of like insulting, to be honest with you. It's like, I, I, I it goes, because the headline, sorry, the headline was like different uh, 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 rules now for fans coming in. I'm like, oh my God, yes. I clicked on it and it said 5,000. I go, what? He's like, yep, 900 more. I'm like, oh, geez. So it's like, well, can you just explain why it's only 9, 900 more? Why is it only nine? Just explain it to us. Because everybody wants to go. They want to watch this team play hockey. Yeah, they do. I mean, come on. Dude, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> but you got to also look at the fact that throughout all of this, whether you agree or disagree, there's been totally different rules indoors versus outdoors, right? So it doesn't, it. it doesn't matter if you agree or not. But if you're, if you're making all these indoor venues stay with the six-foot number, and you're allowing the outdoor venues, whether it be restaurants or a baseball stadium, to be now three feet. So if, if you're making all these indoor venues stay at six feet, how are you allowing the Blues? And by the way, I wish the Blues had more people. But it's all about following these guidelines, which I'm, I'm 100% in agreement with people that, look, you can have your own opinion if you don't agree with how it's all being done. But they do have to follow the different municipal guidelines. Totally. And the health guidelines based on just, indoors versus outdoors. Just explain in detail why. That's it. And I'll be like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Because this happens, that happens, that. And indoors, the sun's not hitting it, blah, blah, blah. Just explain that. Or maybe they did and I missed it. Somebody send it to me, please. Could we also just have a bunch of lights indoors? Could everybody have some type of... A big tanning bed? A big tanning bed. I need to get... I'm pale as A beam all of light. Oh, gosh. Everybody can have those... Uh, those silver things that that women hold outside when they're tanning, right? Yes. Oh, just like on a, along came Polly. No, some about Mary, the older one woman. of those. Yeah, right. The older woman. And you just sit there and you burn. And you have a weathered face. Your yes, face looks like that's a what I want. Mitt. Like you I, live down in Boca Raton. Yeah, yeah. After Creeping on other couples that come down there. Uh, <laughs> Hockey Bob chimes in, and this is actually somewhat decent. He goes, "How many serious cases and or deaths resulted from all the partying at the Lake of the Ozarks? Very few." Now, when we first saw that Lake of the Ozarks thing, I'm like, "Oh God." Look, COVID or no COVID, I ain't getting in that cesspool, okay? I ain't getting in that. I hang out in the opposite side, and we chill, and we do our thing. But that was disgusting anyway. But they made money down there, and everybody went crazy. It was on national news. What happened from that? Do we know? How do you calculate it? Can you? What happened with that? Never heard anything else. Well, it surely was not. It was not this ridiculous outbreak like everybody thought it would be. When you saw those pictures and videos, was it uh, Lazy Gators? Whatever it was. But we all saw those videos, Memorial Day, whenever that was over the summer. And everybody across the world, the world went crazy. Because that was the biggest story in the United States of America. People just showing those videos and all that. So, yeah, I want people to know, too, that when I'm talking about increases in, in capacity with the Blues, for example, I'm not saying that I agree that it should stay at 5,000. But it's just when people make rules, the Blues have to follow them. Do you think the Blues are happy about that? Come on now. Hell no. So it just, I hate to say it, it's the oldest Hell cliche no. in the book, but it is what because it is. Because you're going to Vegas and they got 10. There you go. And, and it, it helps. It does. Yeah, it does. And and especially, think about playoff hockey, the energy you get from your own barn. But when you just look at the increases the Blues have thrown out there this year, the percentage increases are not even close to what the Cardinals are getting. So I think we should probably lower our expectations about how many fans the Blues will get for this know. this it's, run, it sucks. unfortunately. Sorry to be a, a downer, guys, I, and, but it is something to bring up. And, and it, it, just just explain it to us. Explain it to everybody. Explain to the Blues fans. They're like, I got 400 bucks in my pocket, and I want to spend it down there, and now I can't. And you bring up a great point, though. Now, is anything really fair with COVID? Not really. But it's really not fair in the postseason if in your building you got 25% capacity Get and on. you got to go on the road yeah. and play 50%. I mean, that that's a that is a a huge <laughs> advantage. Is, dude. Like you even in warm up skating out there and actually seeing people, not these stupid cardboard cutouts, which Get them out of there. Dogs. <laughs> All the little people in St. Louis that are like, look, I'm on there. It doesn't matter. No one even cares. Get them out. Dunzo. Like, that's just, like, insulting. Like, the guys in the morning, I get this picture, like, oh, oh no, that's, that's fake. Are you a per? Oh, you're a person. You're not. We're in Vegas. They just have all kinds of crazy stuff going on. They're, it looks like it's packed in there. They got all kinds of different events. That helps. I'm telling you, man. It's entertainment, baby, and it gets you fired up. Speaking of entertainment, as we uh, 
stick with hockey here. Charlie Marlowe Show with Cam Jansen. We're going to get his you. picture. And what about Jim Heuer? You didn't even bring up Jim Heuer. He why should be on there, too. Why isn't he on it with his picture? <laughs> I'm just here. Don't worry about it. No. Jimmy just does his thing. I'm good. Jim Heuer is more than here. Before we move on to the Blues, Jim Heuer, your thoughts, Redbirds, best record in baseball now, tied with the San Francisco Giants. Well, last night's game was huge. Just the way they went about it. I know we talked about it a little bit, but just it was a huge win for this baseball team, especially when you consider Gant goes today and, look, pitching advantage Brewers today. Woodruff. So, yeah, Woodruff going today. And then you've got the great matchup tomorrow afternoon with Burns and uh, Flaherty. But you got the first one, and you take your chance to find a way to get a second one. It's it was just a good baseball game all around. Bader, big in the, what was it, the eighth inning to get on base, takes the extra base on the throw, scores on the sack fly by uh, Dylan Carlson. Just It was just good baseball. I mean, it was plain and simple. They went into a place, somebody else was building, that was a yep. good team. They weren't playing the Reds, the Pirates, the Rockies, and they won a real good baseball game. And you mentioned Bader. There have always been a lot of Bader haters with the rhyme there. For a long time, Bader's playing really, really well. I know it's a small sample size, but to also talk about Bader and the guy he essentially replaced, even though they don't play the same position, isn't it interesting that kind of everything falls into place a little better when Tyler O'Neill first comes back, but then more so when Harrison Bader came back? It created the lineup that the Cardinals wanted this year for 2021, when mm -hmm. they were in spring training and they said, what will our lineup be if everybody's healthy? This is the lineup. Oh, and yep. guess who's not in it? Matt Carpenter, who a lot of people complain about, and we talk about all the time on the radio, even though we probably shouldn't. But for a while there, because of injuries to Tyler O'Neill and to Harrison Bader, Matt Carpenter was in a way forced into the lineup. Now, Justin Williams had his shots as well, but you had two spots to fill. And there weren't a lot of guys that were just saying, oh, you got to keep me in there. So since O'Neill and Harrison Bader have come back, you now have this lineup set where, okay, Matt Carpenter can now play the role he's supposed to be on the 2021 Cardinals, which is pinch hitter, and every once in a while, if a Goldie needs a break, if you can throw him over there at third, if Arenado needs a break, every once in a while matchup-wise at second base, this team is so much better when you have O'Neill. Harrison Bader playing every day, and Carp is just this bench option. Oh, absolutely. This is what the Cardinals front office kept telling us all year. This is this is what we want to see. We want to see these guys get, you know, 300, 400 at-bats. Well, we're in that process. Unfortunately, we didn't see it till what, starting over the weekend when, when they're all finally together. Look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is going to be like this all year long, but it's a start. Let's let them play and see what happens. We might find out in another month, uh, so-and-so can't play, and we need to go find another option. But you're going to give them their chance. And I just would like to see them stay healthy and find out, can you play or can't you? Because if you can't, then it's time to move on. Yeah, yeah. That's how it is in every sport there, yeah. Charlie Malone. you got to prove it. Just like radio. If you can't play, you can't play, right? What are you trying to say? I don't know. This is kind of like <laughs> a, at myself uh, in the mirror. kind of like a tryout, right? John texts me every every single show about something I did bad, so I, I I'm looking at myself in the mirror all the time. But it's, it's myself. never first of all, Giovanni. it's never something you do bad. He only chirps the language every once in a while. That's what it is. I was because you know I've been pretty good on this show, very good. pretty good on this show. Well, we find you again. Well, I'm classy around you. You are. I'm not around Andy. You know, Cardinals though. Hopefully they stay hot, and they can continue playing games. Now, this Padres series coming up. You know they have a doubleheader against the Rockies. At the Rockies today, the Padres do. But the Cardinals are playing the Padres next. And as of right now, they have five guys out with COVID-related issues, either pop to positive test or contact tracing. And they're a bunch of stud position players. Tatis Jr., Will Myers, Eric Hosmer, Jerkson Profar, and also Jorge Mateo. So you wonder, if they're going to play this doubleheader today, though, I would think that the Cardinals series will get in. We'll we'll see though because that's a lot of guys where you're getting you're getting close to the that outbreak clause, yeah. Where it is kind of unfair, right? If totally, if man. five of your guys and four of them are your studs aren't able to play, and just 
If you're the Cardinals, you should understand that because the Cardinals got the chill last year for about a month. Yes, they did. And didn't have to play games because they had a ridiculous outbreak. Now, could they have brought up the taxi squad? Sure. And they would have got destroyed, right? Yeah. How nice would that be? Vancouver, same thing this year with the, the Canucks and all that. So it's not this whole year we talked about this is not fair. It's not injuries. It's, it's something completely di- It's a completely different animal. And every every other organization where you're where you're at is completely different. The rules are different. So in in a sense, this whole year is not fair in every single sport. 